Hey everybody, Melissa Murray here with the Melissa Minutes. So obviously uh, my debut uh, went pretty good because Matthew asked me to do another one. So I'm definitely going to try to keep this one a little bit closer to a minute than my first one. Um, but I felt you guys needed a little background on me on that first one. So again, I was scrolling through Facebook and like I mentioned before, I get easily angered by stupid people. So I'm in a lot of different groups on Facebook and one of the groups I'm on is um, a Tupperware group because I do sell Tupperware and I love Tupperware and it's fantastic. Um, so I'm in a Tupperware group where we share recipes and, and things like that. And one lady had made the most mouth-watering fresh bread that you've ever seen in your life. It was amazing. And obviously she said, hey, I thought I'd try making bread in my Tupperware Ultra Pro to see how it would turn out. And I think it turned out pretty good. And the picture she posted, it was just the, the most golden brown. It rose like so high. It was a nice high loaf golden brown. It looked like it was some sort of a whole grain or whole wheat it, you know it looked healthy there were like little seeds and grains in it and it just looks so good I'm like holy crap I need that recipe so like most people you know when someone posts a recipe that you like or I'm sorry it doesn't post the recipe but post pictures and said hey look what I made if you like it usually you say hey can you share the recipe so I just put that comment like, wow, looks incredible. What's your recipe? And her response back to me was, I make my dough in my bread maker. You can use any bread maker recipe you find. I find most people tweak recipes for their personal tastes. And I read her comment and I was like, yeah, I get that. People can tweak recipes and stuff like that. And I've done that too. But usually when I'm trying a recipe for the first time, I usually do it um, as per the instructions the first time around, right? Because then it gives you your baseline. And then you can decide, oh, I, it's too much salt or it's too much sugar or not enough. And you can adjust from there. But her comment really fucking pissed me off because I'm like, just give me your recipe. Like your picture looks amazing. I want to try that. I want to share this bread experience with you because it looks good and you say it's good. Like why tease me like that? Say, oh, look at this fantastic bread that I made that you will never ever get the opportunity to taste. Like just share your fucking recipe with me, motherfucker. Don't be so fucking greedy. And that has been a Melissa Minute. Thanks for listening.